Okay, um, in this video what I'm going to show you is how to delete duplicates from a table where there is not a unique key for the, t for the table uh, on any of the columns. So if there is a unique key uh, on the columns there's a different technique you can use and we'll go over that in another video. But in this video we're, we're deleting duplicates that are um, where every column in the row is duplicated in another row. So you'll understand that a little better as we go through the example. So let's go ahead first create a temporary table. So here I'm just going to go ahead and drop if there is one. And below here we will create the table and I'm going to create a table called temp with a name and a gender. Then after I create that table, I'm going to go ahead and populate that table with a very small set of data, but one that represents what we're trying to achieve here. Uh, so if I do a select from that table where I just inserted those rows, we're going to notice that uh, in here, in our results, that I have two atoms that are male, uh, one my that is female, uh, two Marthas that are um, female, and three Washingtons that are male. So what we want to do here is get rid of, we all only want to have one Adams, one my, one Martha, and one Washington. But we do not have a unique key, which makes it a little bit easier to be able to get rid of these uh, additional duplicates. So what we're going to do is use a Windows function called row number, which is um, available in 2008 and in 2012 and in 2014. We are in a 2014 environment right now. So, just to show you what this row number does before we go into deleting the rows, uh, the strategy I'm going to use is we're going to select and we're going to add a row number, but we're also going to group these by the uh, by the entire rows um, unique uniqueness there, so to speak. So, let's go ahead and just execute this again. When you see the code, uh, the results, you can understand a lot better what it's doing. So here, as you notice, we're adding this row number. And this row number has been added from this particular function. It's called a Windows function. Um, and it's called row number. And you put it over a partition by name, gender, and order by name. So what I'm doing here is that, as you see, I say, once I get to, I'm going to group it. The partition is like a group by. And I'm going to group it by the name and gender. So as you see, I group them here, name and gender. And I, and I count the rows, which is one, two. Uh, then we go to a new gender and uh, uh, name and gender. And I count the rows. In this case, there's only one. And here, Martha has two, right? One and two. And I give it some sort of order. Now, what's interesting about this is that Really, all I want, need to do here then is say I want everything with a WHERE clause where the row number equals 1. Because if I do 1, 1, 1, 1, then I'll get my four rows and the rest don't really count for me. So I, let me just go ahead and do that and just go ahead and say um, WHERE uh, row number. Well, let's see. We're going to go ahead and say, uh, yes, we've already given a name. So it would be row number greater than or equal to 1. So now let's go ahead and run this. And we get an error. Okay, so that's not good. So what we'd have to do to run this again, <coughs> we would have to go ahead and um, take this whole amount here and put it into a drive table, make it into a drive table. And we would say something like, um, in fact, let me just go ahead and copy it down to another segment here. And we're going to say select uh, asterisk from this derived table. This is called a drive table. Have to give it some sort of alias, so I'll give it a B. Oops, B and uh, a WHERE clause, WHERE row number equals 1. Okay, let's put that semicolon to be 
Good. And now what you see here is that I took the this from above. Let me get some more room here. Um, I took the statement from above here. Right here. Where we, I got the row numbers. And... I took that air group here, this this segment, and I put that section right in here. And that's what you would call a derived table. So then I did a select from this derived table, which we've just seen, where the row number, now we can uh, we can get the row number equal to 1. And so this is really what we want to end up with after our delete right here. So all the ones with a 1. So we're deleting anything that's greater than one that has the same that is a duplicate for any one of these specify okay so let's get to the final statement in the final statement uh, let's tie this up a little bit uh, let's format that okay so the final statement for our delete will look like this we take the statement we came up here with with the select asterisk and in place of that we basically do a, a delete from table and inside of that is our derived table from temp where so it's exactly the same statement as it is above here with the select so it's when I do this sort of thing I'm going to probably do the select first just to make sure I don't make a mistake and wipe out a bunch of rows I don't want to uh, delete uh, just to make sure so what I do is I, I do the same thing here I used a B uh, and down down up here I used a B for my select down here I'm using a T and all that works but what it does is that it remembers that row number and it allows you to um, and it kind of attaches it to the uh, table you're using okay and um, that's pretty much it and then after that so I'm going to run my delete and it's going to delete for everything is above greater than one okay which is uh, kind of a uh, complements this uh, this says equals one here we're going to get rid of everything greater than one so that is a, a major difference here that between that and the select of course so I'm going to execute that okay and it deleted four rows or five rows and it will then then I'm going to go ahead and do a select again from that table and I execute and there it is or my my tables are my table is uh, dedup deduplicated so that is how you do a deduplication and this one here is another concept there too so why is my results going to I just want to go to grids, so somehow that changed up. I'm not sure why. Okay, <clears throat> so that's how you do deduplication. This concludes this video. Please come and see more of my videos at www.sequelcoop.com. Thank you.